Buff Nation, we were talking about this last week. Tyler Brown getting some reps at defensive tackle. Well, it looks like he truly is going to be a two-way player for us moving forward, which is going to be uh, really exciting to see. I think some of this is due to dealing with some injuries on the defensive line, but nonetheless, like I'm very interested and very intrigued to see how this transition, this little experiment is going to go. Of course, guys, I want to know your thoughts. Be sure to like, subscribe. We're on our way to 10,000 by my birthday here at the end of the month. And of course, like I said, join the conversation. I want to, I want to know your expectations and what you guys uh, think about this. Now, uh, this is credit to Sco Buffs. Go Buffs on Twitter. He was posting this and uh, saying, Coach Prime just confirmed Colorado offensive lineman Tyler Brown, who is getting reps at defensive line, is now a two way player. And uh, here in the video, he's asking uh, Rock Tyler Brown to break down the huddle. He said, Our new two way player. And uh, here we go. You can see he's got a blue jersey on as. Travis Hunter and Isaiah Harge have also worn at uh, on the team. So uh, this is very, very interesting. Uh, you guys have pointed out to me that, again, we are dealing with some injuries on the defensive line. Uh, I, I believe Ryan Buell, um, Tarney and Carter. So we, we are a little thin right now on defensive line. Uh, we have Brandon Davis Swain here as a true freshman who I believe is redshirting, but we could see him get some action in these last four games, uh, which which could be a lot of fun. But Tyler Brown, I'm wondering if he can make that transition uh, to defensive line, and maybe it's even a better fit for him. Uh, they talk about how he's one of the strongest players on the team. I mean, you hear – Thanks to Jake Schwanitz has this little tidbit from Coach Hart speaking this week about him. And he said, quote, the guy is strong. He's one of the strongest guys we have with how he's doing in practice. I'd love to keep him over there. Uh, I think this is very interesting. Again, guys, like you don't see this happen very often, like in the NFL, definitely. Um, it can happen in college a little bit more. You guys have pointed out to me that that's right. Amari McNeil, one of our impact defensive tackles on this current unit originally was recruited to Tennessee as an offensive lineman and, and made that transition to the defensive line. And I think that's been a great decision for him. Uh, I, I would love to see, and I'm very interested to see if uh, this is going to be a good position uh, for Tyler Brown. Now, some of you guys have said, you know, does, does Tyler have the mentality, that nasty mentality that's needed for a defensive lineman to truly thrive? I think that's uh, a fair. Uh, I think that's a fair question or wondering. Uh, my response to that, personally, I think he can do it. I think he can do it. And I think we're going to find out over the next few games if he can do it, <laughs> which I think is going to be a, a lot of fun. But he's got great size, guys. Again, uh, he's somewhere between 310 to 320 pounds, 6'3". So, yeah, like I'm I'm very intrigued and I'm very happy that we're going to get to see this because we all have a ton of depth right now at our position or in terms of like I don't know if our top – four guards there's really much separation between them right uh, who do we got we got justin mayers we got khalil benson we got kareem harden and we got tyler brown and with us rotating guards now uh, putting in new guards every two to three series keeping guys fresh this is going to give tyler brown uh the the rest needed uh, to play both ways. So this isn't going to be a thing like Travis Hunter where you're going to see Rock playing 100 snaps in a in a game or anything like that. But I think like right now with what we've seen on the development side with the offensive line, again, shout out to Coach Phil. All my guys know their assignments. Load Holt. And again, just having a good group of four guards that you can depend on. 
maybe right now with dealing with some of these injuries, we don't feel like we have the needed depth to rotate the way that we want right now. Uh, that's that's kind of how I'm thinking about it. So Tyler Brown, I'm very excited to see how you perform over the next month going both ways a little bit. I think this is going to be fun. So y'all let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, I will be back with another video later today. And of course, the buff splits is tonight at 7 p.m. Mountain. Be sure to like again, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. As always, y'all go buffs.